just to talk quickly about the scanners. I have to log into the scanner, so they will go off of permissions, user permissions within Business Central as well. We create a what's called a device configuration for each location that you have. This device configuration is where we set a lot of that workflow up. So if I want to override bins and I can say put aways, picks, anywhere. Do I want them to be able to change bins? Do I want them to be able to enter bins if they're empty? We can also configure printing as well. So if you have item labels that you want to print, typically when you receive, we can design those item labels to print whenever you're doing the receive on the scanners. So we can control by location exactly how you want those scanners to function. We would typically use your existing locations. So all your locations, we're going to set them up as locations in Business Central. So here's like my Pittsburgh location. So the location in Business Central, there's three levels. So this is directed put away and pick, which means essentially just warehouse managed. So that means I need to also create bins for this Pittsburgh location as well. So we're going to create underneath my warehouse location, we create what's called zones. So you can see I've got an assembly zone, a cross docking zone, a bulk zone, a fast pick zone, all the different areas of your warehouse. And then underneath the zones, we would create individual bins. And these are all your individual product locations. And that's just a code of 20 characters. So if you've already got them barcoded and you have your own numbering system, we can use exactly what you have. So bin type, like overstock is usually what's considered a zone. So we might have like an overstock zone. All those zones can be ranked. And then the bin type is just saying what I'm allowed to do within that zone. So you can see I have some zones that are pick, that means I'm only allowed to pick product out of that zone. If you look at like this zone that's called QC, I called that QC because that just means I'm not allowed to do anything to it. I can't receive into that zone. I can't ship out of that zone. I can't put away or pick to that zone. So that would be like your QC area. In theory, this is not sellable product because a pick is never going to tell me to go pick this product. But if I were looking at overall inventory, it's part of my inventory. If you want to truly get that to be not even part of what's on hand inventory wise, typically we'd create like a QC location. So we give it like its own location code. But these QC types, not sellable. Also, when I'm setting up these warehouse locations, so this put away template I can assign to specifically to a location. We can assign these put away templates by item as well. So if you have different items you want to treat differently when you're putting them away, we can do that. But the put away template really is the brains of the system of how we're going to put the product away. So for my put away template, I'm saying I want you to check if this item has a fixed bin the same items in the bin at the same unit of measure. So it's trying to match products up and put them away close to each other. And then we get a little less restrictive as we go down. So Business Central tries to satisfy all these requirements. And if it can't, then it jumps down to the next level of bins.